Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Last night, the Russians launched another attack on Ukraine, and I have three articles here to discuss about this attack. Two uh, are coming from I have two articles from uh, the U.S. media, and the last one from the Ukrainian uh, media. So let's start with the Americans first. This is from Reuters, and um, it reads the headline. Russia launches overnight air attack on Ukraine from east to west. Would be strange if would be a Russia launching overnight air attack on Ukraine from west to east. But hey, what do you want, Reuters? So Ru Russia launched a widespread overnight air attack on Ukraine targeting the capital, Kiev, and cities from east to west as most of the country spent the night with air raid sirens blasting for several hours. The general staff of Ukraine's armed forces said that, according to preliminary information, Ukraine's air defense systems shot down 28 out of 30 Iranian-made Shahid drones that Russia launched. Well, as I told you before, these guys are going to up it so much that uh, missing 2 out of 30 would be a failure. Uh, why do I say that? Because this is the second article from... Uh, Associated Press, read the little title here. Ukraine downs Russian drones, but some get through due to gaps in air protection. All right, and I think uh, this was uh, done again by Associated Press today. And let's go to the third one, which comes from the Ukrainians. Air defense destroys 28 out of 30 Shahed drones attacking Ukraine. So that was not enough. <clears throat> Not enough. Uh, never enough if you defend yourself. About 20 enemy targets were identified and destroyed by the forces and our air defense in the airspace around Kiev, Serhii Popko, head of the Kiev military administration, said on Telegram messenger app, messaging, messaging app. And I'm quoting another massive air attack on the capital, Popko said the military administration of Lviv, a city of about 700,000 people and 70 kilometers, 43 miles from the border with the NATO country of Poland, said Russia hit a critical infrastructure in the city sparking fire. And here is the Ukrainian map. Here is Lvov or Lviv. This is a Russian provided map. So obviously they have their uh, Russified uh, names of cities like Chernigov is Chernihiv, for instance, Kharkiv is Kharkov, Lvov is Lviv, and vice versa. Now, this is going to belong to Poland probably sometime soon. Uh, that's why they mention it. Uh, also, probably in order uh, for the readers to figure out, oh my god, they're gonna uh, attack Poland very close to Poland, which it is. This used to belong to Poland, that's why I'm mentioning this. And the Russians are claiming the Poles are waiting for something. I don't know exactly what. We're going to find out, right? Well, some of us know, including the Poles, what exactly I'm talking about. According to preliminary reports, there were no casualties. There were no casualties reported in Zaporozhia because Yuri Malatsko, head of the military administration of the Zaporozhia region in southeast Ukraine said on Telegram messaging app that Russia's raid targeted telecommunication infrastructure and agriculture and farming properties. So Zaporozhia is right here, the oblast, and this is the city of Zaporozhia. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is where here, and Lvov, and Kiev. Okay, so then we go here. Um, Reuters could not ident uh, ident independently verify the reports. So let's go to the next one here, where they say basically this is this. We need more air protection, that means send more defense, air defense systems. This is the, the title here, because the two drones uh, got through. Obviously, you and I will pay for that, and uh, there's no problem. Here, regarding this 28 of 30, I, um, this reminds me of the communist times in Romania when I was to be a uh, boy. And I remember that uh, these guys and the conversations that I had with my father, uh, he was making fun of this. The communists, the officials then, they were reported um, achievements. 
uh, economic achievements of Romania. They were lying. How they were lying? There, there were um, every year they were bringing uh, highest or bigger numbers, greater achievements, greater achievement achievements. So the achievements got so ridiculously impossible that at one point Romania had an uh, and a production of steel and steel was good but steel and crops more than United States like a few times and my father who used to laugh about it say well we're better now than the Americans with everything it seems like and uh, that's how it was so they they had to lie every year because they had you know every year we did better 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 this is the communist system they were all lying and the problem is they knew they were, they were lying why were they lying? Because there were some ideologues over there that they wanted to be lied. And if you didn't lie, they would look down on you like you made a mistake, not that their ideology is unworkable. So the same here, these guys, uh, well, I'm talking about Ukraine um, military, I think exaggerated, I'm not going to use the word lie because I think, I think it fits, but nevertheless, they exaggerated. Maybe it's possible, maybe, but I doubt. I doubt it's possible, not that they achieve it, not that it's impossible. I doubt that they achieved it. And even if they achieved it, they upped all this. We destroyed 5 out of 50 drones. We destroyed 10 out of 50. We destroyed 20 out of 50. Now, at one point, they got to 50 out of 50. Now, when you get to that point, there's no going down and it's not going up. Because up, obviously, you can't say, well, we destroyed uh, 55 drones out of 50. They're going to get to that stupidity and people will not even figure it out that's one and the other one if they go down like in this case 28 out of 30 that's going to be considered an insuccess a failure and then we're going to look for someone's head and there's a big problem whereas they started i'm not saying they should not fit 30 out of 30. this is the psychological thing you report less a little bit it's a failure which was a success all the way up till yesterday so again, when they say, well, there were some gaps, what do you expect? The whole territory of Ukraine to be covered with air defenses? Yes. Who's paying for that? Well, I don't know, United States, I think uh, Germany probably going to bring some from Israel and so on, because Germany is buying from Israel and from United States air defenses. Unbelievable. But anyway, let's go back to these guys and see what's the uh, Ukrainians report, Ukrainska Pravda. Air defense units have destroyed 28 out of... 30 Russian Shahid kamikaze drones that attacked Ukraine territory on the night of 19th per 20th of June. And I'm quoting, Russian terrorists launched another, oh, if it's terrorist, that means it's not the Russian military, so find a terrorist, man. Launch another large-scale missile and air strike on Ukraine overnight. Well, I haven't read anything yet, but probably they will give me a read, I see here, 300s. Where, how many missiles? They said 20 targets in... Uh, this article here somewhere they said 20 targets right 20 enemy targets were identified so targets that the russians were hitting or targets coming incoming targets we'll find out here preliminary reports indicate that 28 shahin roads out of 30 launched by the enemy were destroyed destroyed okay in addition as the general staff reported the russians used seven okay now we got a number S-300 anti-aircraft missiles to attack Zaporozhia and its outskirts. Zaporozhia, right here. This is right here. This is where uh, Energodar, or Energodar by the Ukrainians, I think. This is where the power plant is, just so you know, if you didn't. And then here, right here, Kakovka, here is where the dam was blown up. So the dam right here. Then you have here in this little tip. Right here is the nuclear power plant. And this is Zaporozhia where they, the Russians hit it. And if you go on, the, this is the Dnieper River that flows into the Black Sea. And this is Sevastopol and this Crimean Peninsula. Let's go back to the Ukrainians. Information on the consequences of the missile strikes is currently being confirmed. Background. Kiev was attacked by Shahid drones. Okay, we already got that one. Almost 20 Russian targets were destroyed in the airspace around Kiev. The Russians hit critical infrastructure facilities in Lviv, as we already mentioned, and damaged communication lines and private property in Zaporozhia and its suburbs. But there were no casualties. Very, very good. So, new attack, uh, and uh, <clears throat> they didn't tell us how many S-300s they downed. No casualties, I guess, for the Ukrainians is good, for the other ones are bad. 
um, because the other ones are terrorists, so by definition, you know, uh, causing uh, human loss and so on, blah, 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 tra -la -la. The point here, these are, these, the Ukrainians got better at shutting them down. Now, this was a failure, because if you look at the last, uh, maybe three attacks, uh, uh, especially on Kiev, they destroyed all Kinzals, uh, Kalibr, uh, S-300s, Bazagaba, Kapatsopolo, Foloko, everything was destroyed. Now, two out of 30 drones, uh, someone must be demoted. And uh, the other point is, send us more. We need more because, uh, you see, there's some gaps. Do you think the United States doesn't have any gaps? Do you think the United States is covered the territory for any attack? That's what they tell us, but I have big, big, big doubts about it. But hey, sleep well tonight because you know you're covered. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.